Hey, I'm Flyman Ed, and you're watching The Jet Way. Today it was announced Tim Tebow has successfully trademarked Tebowing. People have their opinions on why you trademarked Tebowing, but what is the real reason? Getting on a knee and praying is a very special deal for me. It's kind of keeping that safe. Hey, Tim Tebow, you trademarked Tebowing. Congratulations. But come on, bro. The move that you ought to be trademarking is a move that you've been doing more than any other move this season, and that's just you looking down at your poor little wrist and reading off a play that does not involve you. You better... You, you, you better re 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 recognize... Tebow loves doing this move. I think this is good just keeping Tim Tebow on the sidelines. I mean, maybe that's how Tebow cracked his ribs. What's that a play? I might get in. Let me take a look. Oh, my God. I got too excited. I cracked my ribs. Oh, boy. I just... I, I, I got so excited. I thought I was maybe getting into the game. Obviously, I'm not getting into the game, but I still wanted to just check on the old, uh, the old wrist here. Yeah, my ribs, uh, no good. I just cracked it. Oh, boy. We better tell McElroy. He's gonna have to get himself a jersey. What's that? Don't tell McElroy? We don't want to tell McElroy. You, you, you probably want to tell McElroy. You're gonna have to dress him. Don't tell him? Anyone else find it crazy that the only way McElroy can get his own game jersey is if he hops on to NFLShop.com and makes his own custom jersey? Anybody else find that weird? I'm not the only one? Okay, great. And the Jets and all their fans are in complete stunned disbelief as it is a comedy of errors for New York. Today on the Jetway, we're breaking down the loss and also trying to figure out just what the heck kind of problem Tom Brady has with Thanksgiving turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jetway starts right now. <laughs> First off, shouts to Bilal Powell on scoring both his first and second career touchdowns against the Rams. Dude's got some serious power wheels, or should I say, Powell wheels? Powell, Powell, Powell wheels, Powell, Powell, Powell wheels, Powell wheels. And this I love after his first score. Hey, what do I do with the ball? This is all new to me, guys. Who do I give the ball to? Help! Schottenheimer's on the side watching. Yeah, I don't know what you do after a TD either. Rams and I not getting a lot of those ourselves. Later in St. Louis, it's Rex and Sperano having words on the sideline. Apparently, Sperano was calling out Rex about how he always says, you know. We checked the tape of a random press conference, and yeah, dude does drop a lot of you knows. How can we, you know, how can we get better? You know, you know, you know, uh, we look at... You know, you know, with, uh, I believe in, you know, all our players, you know, you know, like that with anybody, you know, 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 maybe it's a role and we'll see, you know, you know, and, you know, you know, what, why are we not, you know, is there something we can touch on? You know, you know, there's, there's, you know, you know, you know, you know. Hey, let's jump to Jets pass. Second quarter, Sean Green gets the carry on fourth down, but loses the ball and all Green has to say for himself is, that's a spicy meet the ball. That's a spicy meatball. Sperano, I'd probably ask you how my pronunciation was, but I'm sure you're probably busy spitting up on yourself, right? Of course you are. NBC's Jillian Michaels was in the house scouting contestants for next season's The Biggest Loser. And hey, with how Gang Green's been playing this season, Jillian, I think you've come to the right place. These Jets are nothing but a bunch of losers. Yes, Harriet, I agree. Speaking of losers, Mark Sanchez back to pass and throws one of those same things he does to his nose. Yeah, it's a pick. Cut to Sanchez on the horn. What's that? Oh, we're playing football. Oh, professional football, you say? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I can totally act like I know what I'm doing. Just, just watch this next play, okay? Here goes. Broken play. Mark Sanchez scrambles up the middle. Lost the football. He ran right to the back. But Brandon Moore fumbled the ball. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sanchez lost the football. It's picked up and running into the end zone for a touchdown. All season long, Sanchez has been running his career into this dark, scary place that nobody ever wants to end up in. But I never thought that dark, scary place would be Brendan Moore's backside. Anyone else think that? Give me, give me more. Give me, give me more. Give me, give me more. Damn, Sandy, you want some butter to go with those buns? I like big butts and I cannot lie. And there's Jet GM Mike T-Bombs watching on and maybe typing up his letter of resignation there on his Blackberry? I sure hope so. Hey, keep that head up, Danny. I'm sure you can always apply for that hit groundskeeping gig down there in Miami. I'm pretty sure there's going to be an opening. <laughs> I said no rain in the forecast. I, I didn't check the sprinklers. And finally, after defeating Wisconsin, check out what former New England coordinator, current Penn State head coach, had to say about his team. They're a bunch of fuck. Hey, Penn State football, pretty sure the last thing you guys need to be talking about right now is fucking. Bunch of hey, you know what Bill O'Brien's butt chin reminds me of? 
That time Sanchez ran his chin up a butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Yep, Sanchez is splitting up rear ends and uh, I'm just splitting. We'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>